On a cold winter eve as the snowflakes were falling In a low, humble cottage a poor mother lay And although wrecked with pain as she lies there contented With her Savior, her friend, and peace within me We will all meet again on the great judgment morning the books will be open, the roll will be called. Oh, how sad it will be if forever we're parted. While some rise to glory and others stand to fall. As we travel through the desert. Aren't we set us by the way? But beyond the river Jordan lies a field of endless days. Father, on still go farther. Count the milestones one by one. Yeah. 
Now I days my weary soul in chains of heaven And not a soul of trouble rolled across my peaceful grave. On the sea, the sea, the sea of Galilee, of Galilee, my Jesus is walking on the sea. On the sea, the sea, the sea of Galilee, of Galilee, my Jesus is walking on the sea. Okay, I think we have an old love song for you. I believe the title of it, The Last Letter, is that it? That's right, Daddy. Oh, why do you treat me as if I were only a friend? What have I done that makes you so different and cold? Sometimes I wonder if you'll be contented. I cannot offer you diamonds or mansions so fine. I cannot offer you clothes that your young body craves. But if you say that you long to forever be mine, think of the heartache, the tears, and the sorrow you While I am writing this letter, I think of the past And of the promises you are breaking so free But to this cold world I'll soon say my farewell at last I will be gone when you get this last letter from me my home's in old Virginia, among the lovely hills. The memory of my birthplace lies in my bosom still. My Carter family, that brings back pleasant memories, and especially in this place. I think it is remarkable that we can be visiting here in this same old brick building in Bristol, Tennessee, where in those warm days of August 1927, my Jimmy took his audition for recording. And I remember that it was at that same session that you folks also made your first record. Isn't that right, A.P.? Yes, that's right, Miss Roberts. I know we recorded Doc just a day or two before you all came over there, and he made his first recording. And we needn't have the pleasure of meeting with him in person until we made that recording when we visited you all in Texas. What year was that? Do you remember now? I sure do. It was in 1932. Yeah, that's right. I remember myself now. Well, that's been a right smart little while, but it gives me a lot of pleasure to see you again and uh, know that you're getting along as well as what you are. Well, thank you so much. Jimmy always thought so much of your family, and I'm very glad that you have become active again. The world needs the kind of music that the Carter family and my Jimmy gave it. And Sarah, I'm glad to see that you still sing with that same clear, strong voice. The years have certainly been kind to you. Yes, Carrie, I'm thankful to be able to sing for your friends and ours again. It still seems very natural, and I remember the time in 1927 when A.P. and I first wagged the old guitar and order harp into this very building to make our test record. Jeanette, I think it's wonderful that you and Joe are talented also and have now joined the group. Yes, of course, Mrs. Rogers, Daddy and Mother first started as the Carter family, and then they were later joined by my Aunt Maybelle Carter. But as you know, they worked together for a long time, but now she's in Nashville with her girls, the Carter sisters. Joe and I have been trying to help Mother and Daddy for quite a bit now. 
Joe won't sing, but he will play the guitar. We all accuse him of being lazy. Don't you think you are just a little bit, Joe? Uh, I guess I better not have too much to say. It might offend you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carter family, I'd like to hear you sing one of your old railroad songs. Sing it for me, and I'd like to dedicate it to the memory of my Jimmy. Just any of those old songs like Jimmy used to sing will be all right. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy always liked the Western Hobo. I've heard him talk about that so much. You couldn't beat it. Let's hear it. A wild and Western Hobo Who left his happy home Started out on a Western trip All by himself alone much, folks. That's just the kind of songs Jimmy loved and sang so much. It's really good to be with you here and to listen to you once more. Yeah, we're very proud to have you. So I guess maybe we'd all better try to sing a hymn. What about you, Happiness, um, Miss Rogers, on this one? You... I'd love to, A.P. Thank you. There's a land that is fair than day. And by faith we can see it afar For our Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. It was midnight on the stormy deep, this solitary watch I keep, and think of her I live behind. Deep, deep sea may us divide, and I may be another's bride. Although my thoughts will sometimes stray on thee when thou art far away, I never shall forget the day. I was forced to go away. Her little hand in mine she pressed and clasped me to her loving breast. Oh, the deep, deep sea may us divide, and I may be another's bride. Oh, 
for the southern sun refused to shine, and the trusted love.